morning, everybody. Robin Ryan here, Superintendent of Grapevine Cottage ISD, and this is a segment that we're calling House Calls. And with us today, we've got the fifth grade team at Cannon Elementary School that's doing some great work during the COVID shutdown. So uh, hello to the fifth grade team. If you could introduce yourselves for the audience, please. Hi, I'm Addie Weichel. Hi, Heather Hager. Hi, Catherine Olvera. Hi, Christy Donica. Hi, Megan Mayo. All right. So, uh, welcome. And um, so your principal, Mrs. Garrett, has said that you guys are just doing some tremendous work of connecting with kids uh, during this time. So uh, tell us how that's working. How are you connecting with all of your students and and uh, um, how are you making sure that every child is continuing to learn uh, during these uh, unprecedented times of, of this shutdown? We're doing it in a couple of different ways. Um, we wanted to make sure that our students, um, one, had access and just the simplest way for um, communication purposes and that they find their work in all of one place. So we decided, um, even though we have separate homerooms, to make one Google Classroom for the whole grade level. Um, it also helps us to give feedback to any child because one of us is going to be on at all, uh, you know, at different times of the day so we can give them feedback easily. The second thing that we're doing is we're having a WebEx call every week um, with our students. And so we get to see their faces and check in on them and um, do a lot of social emotional support for them. And then lastly, we have live office hours every week. So any student that has questions or has specific needs, they can come to us during um, our WebEx office hours and we can touch base with them. So uh, when you do your live WebEx, is it uh, uh, all five of you do one that's a separate one that's once a week or is it everybody together as a fifth grade uh, team? We're doing it separately right now and um, just to and it's at different times. So let's say uh, a child needs help with humanities. They can go to Ms. Hager's time or my time, depending on what works for their schedule. Mm -hmm. um, the, it's been funny to watch with these office hours. Some of them, it's, I need help with this assignment. And for some of the kids, it's just saying, hey, like, I, I just want someone to talk to. Like, I just want to hear your voice. And so we got a live karate demonstration in one of ours yesterday. And um, it's just good to see the kids. So um, uh, what's, what's been the best thing that's happened that you have discovered uh, as a team since we've uh, been out of school over the last month or so? I think that it's just ramped up the amount of collaboration that we have between ourselves. Um, we've been learning even more about what our specific strengths are and how they work together well. Um, and we've got the dual side of our grade level and a monolingual side. And so we don't always get to work as closely together as we'd like. And this has kind of brought us together even more with that. Yeah, and I would often say um, for our kids, I've it's been really neat to see how flexible and um, how this has been a growing opportunity for them too. Um, it gives them a chance to to learn this real life lesson that things don't always go as we would expect. And so they've done a really great job. And um, we were really blessed that we had technology already in place. Um, right. But um, just they they truly have their own independence now and uh, being able to troubleshoot their own Chromebook problems and just simple things that we would love to be there to help them with that can't be. And so getting to see them take that ownership of just the small things, but also their learning and and just learn the lesson that sometimes you have to be flexible and do things you don't want to do. And it's been really neat to see our kids persist through that challenge. Stepped up. That's great. That's great. So um, a part of the learning process, especially at elementary school, is partnering with parents uh, when we are in our brick and mortar school, as well as uh, on the online side. So uh, how have you reached out to parents and what kind of uh, responses have you gotten from parents about uh, the learning processes? And, and we've really had to rely on parents to, to be able to help uh, even more uh, as partners during this time. So how, what kind of parent education, what kind of parent responses have you gotten? So I wanted to just touch base on that because um, as a bilingual teacher that like has been a little bit of a struggle for me, but I think one of the ways that I've been able to communicate is I really check on them every single week, almost every day to some. And even though some of them might be having problems learning the technology, a lot of the videos that we've created and allowed the and put in our Google Classroom 
has helped parents be able to go in with their kid and just see step by step like process of just logging into their email or things of that nature, but also just checking in to make sure that they're okay. I think that has like grown my relationship with my parents and they like one of the parents yesterday told me, she's like, oh, I'm so glad you called me because I needed to ask you something. So I don't know. I just feel like creating that relationship first and then we'll work on the other things with the videos that we've created. Um, they've just been so helpful and it's been cool to see how our kids take the skills that they have from like our classroom and what we do at Canon and like show that to their parents and be able to lead it in that way. So. So, so that's interesting. Talk more about the videos that you've created and uh, what their topics are and, and the kinds of things that, uh, that you can see, uh, the, the learning that, that's happening because of the videos that are there. So at the beginning of this process, we saw that we were having a little bit of problems just because sometimes kids aren't, we're not there to answer their questions. So um, we've created videos from how to add a picture to your Google Doc, how to check your email, um how to see where your assignments are in google classroom and so we just screencastified um you know step by step um the process of doing that and so that's just been helpful because once we sent those out kids just were able to watch them their parents saw it and now they know where to go for those resources if they forgot how to do it um and it was just helpful for parents to visualize and see that so that's a, that's a great resource for parents, and I, I'm sure that uh, other people across the district that are uh, hearing about this and seeing about this will uh, maybe want to contact you to <clears throat> be able to see what the content of those videos are, because that, those are very helpful for, for parents. So, so Canon is a, a STEM school, so uh, you spend your time uh, talking about science and technology and engineering and math. So has that, has that dropped off since, uh, uh, since we've been in this uh, environment or 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 has has that kept going uh, even though we've been in the online environment i would say it definitely looks different uh, than what it normally looks like at canon uh, we follow the engineering design process of um it's not just think of something and make it there's a planning there's an imagining stage there's an improvement stage um our kids have been able to learn that in class and start to implement that at home so um i'll let science speak to this as well but for humanities this week um they are diving into a little bit of their inventors project and what we're finding is um, a lot of our scholars have different realities at home right now um, there are different resources that are available to different kids and so what we're finding is maximizing choices that they can choose from one for their student voice and two, um, to meet their needs and to meet where they're at. Um, in this time period, I think sometimes we forget that scholars' home lives don't look exactly like ours, and so being flexible with that, but still incorporating that creative thinking in that um, planning phase. I would say for science um, and math, actually, we've done this in both of our subjects, um, it's been neat to focus on and miss those contents, but it's also so much more. It's about communication and collaboration and um, innovation and just giving kids a chance to like think outside the box or um, just imagine. And so um, we've been able to do that through, we've tried to include like one activity a week where they're with their families um, or maybe their siblings or trying to give them a chance um, and like topics we've been calling them fam jams um, where they can come together for just a little bit and whether it's like interviewing um, over personal financial literacy or showing them like a magic trick of um, what happens when you like put a spoon in a glass of water and it refracts and just giving them a chance to kind of live out what they're learning has been really um, neat and the kids love it and I love like seeing their responses and their family's responses um, and so that's been a really cool opportunity we've given them um, several choice boards of different creative options and technology has been our best friend through all of this and um, just giving them a chance to show what they've learned on different platforms and create different things and just trying to really be mindful that not everyone's going to have cardboard at home or um, glitter and glue and things like that. And so just trying to, for us, think out of the box of like other ways for them to show. And um, there's STEM knowledge integrated and 
yeah, it's been really cool. Our school has also um, been doing a like maker in the maker classroom. And so Ms. Warshard is actually, and she's been uploading some videos on social media of all the kids are creating. And it is truly amazing. It is so awesome. So much work is happening. So uh, here's the last question. So you've described, uh, all of you have described so many different things that are happening, but that just doesn't happen by accident. That all happens by design. So how do you all get together as a team to, uh, you know, what, what's your routine about getting together as a team to be able to do these amazing things for, for our students and the families? Well, we meet twice a week as a team on WebEx. So we get um, all five of us together. We talk about any of the issues that we're seeing, any of the things that we can make better um, and kind of go from there. I know that with um, each of the different subject areas, we have a specific time that we meet. So like on Tuesdays at one, we'll meet and talk about math. And then after that, we'll do science. And I know humanities meets on Wednesday as well. So there's a lot of time using the technology we've been given um, to, to make all the learning opportunities happen. It also helps that we're all friends. <laughs> so uh, getting over, yes. <laughs> getting together over WebEx is um, not a taxing thing. It's a wonderful thing. And getting to, one, have a quick catch up. How's everything doing? Or how is everything going? Um, but then also being honest of like, hey, I'm struggling to connect with so-and-so. Or um, does anyone have any ideas of how to best fit this child's needs? Um, so I think. Paul, Paul, a part of it is being vulnerable and then also staying committed to working together and collaborating together so that we can be beneficial for our kids. Well, that's just, it, it's just amazing to hear. And I'm so grateful to you all for uh, a being friends and working together, but also uh, being flexible to be able to uh, deliver uh, amazing educational experiences for your students and 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 in con in uh, cooperation with their families and so uh, you just a, a shining example and i just really appreciate uh, uh, all of you uh, hopping on with me today for house calls uh, fifth grade team at cannon elementary is doing great work and and if there's anybody out there that uh, would like to know more information uh, you can simply uh, uh, find their email online and i'm sure they'll be able to share things uh, all the things that they're doing uh, with anyone that, uh, that would like to see that. So again, thanks for joining me for House Calls. The fifth grade team at Cannon uh, is doing a great job of helping all of us build excellent schools together.